Hey, good morning, everybody. Good to be with you here on a Wednesday. I got to tell you, sitting out here in our backyard in Wisconsin, things have been dry. I think it's been about 10 days since we've had a rain in here and we've had temperatures in the 80s. So we're definitely uh, on the drier side uh, and looking for rain. Now, when we talk to family out in western Nebraska, they've had 10 inches uh, in a matter of weeks. So, you know, we're definitely uh, in a weather market out here and we have to be careful not to just caught up, get caught up in, uh, in our own backyard. Uh, going over new crop contracts here, Dees corn down 11 and three quarters this morning at 522 and three quarters. We've got no beans down 19 at 11, 34 and a quarter. The July wheat contracts are down 11 to 16 cents. And you've got equities and oil uh, lower here this morning. Quick uh, update here on global prices. Um, really, you're going to South America for the cheap corn at this point. Uh, the U.S. just isn't quite competitive yet. Uh, soybeans, things are getting a little bit better. Once you go out to the August time frame, the U.S. is getting a little more competitive. Um, so we're going to look for that to hopefully add some support to this market here at some point. But uh, when you look at the June, July uh, months here, the U.S. just uh, just isn't there. And then for wheat, no surprise. I mean, the U.S. is just not competitive. You got to remember we are, you know, lower on the chain when it comes to being a global exporter of wheat. Um, there's no doubt that there's problems in wheat country here in the U.S., but ultimately, you know, it seems like we just have to keep our prices high enough that we don't encourage exports. Um, and, and, and that's what uh, that's what we're doing. Weather market. Here's your seven day uh, QPF map. Um, you know, we've definitely got some rain coverage, whether it's enough or not, is obviously going to be argued. And, and let us know in the comments below, you know, how's things looking in your area? Are you guys dry? Are you too wet? Um, how's the uh, how's the crop getting off to a start here? Here's the map everybody's talking about, though. This goes out to mid-June. You're looking at good coverage, rain coverage um, throughout the Corn Belt and the growing region. Now, this is, you know, it, this is pretty far out there to really be reliable, but this is what the, you know, the futures market looks at the future. So this map gets updated um, in the afternoons, and this is what's going to get traded. So they, they pull precipitation away, and we would expect the market to come up a little bit if they add it. You know, you can certainly see it go lower. Ultimately, for us, we made a cash sale here on new crop corn recently. Again, we got to emphasize that everything here is counter trend. All rallies are counter trend at this point. And so we got to be ready to make some cash sales. Uh, five to 10 percent off the recent lows has been a, a typical uh, rally move for the month of May and, and into June. Uh, the other thing we want to point out, and uh, a lot of bulls out there were um, you know, looking at North Dakota and, and their corn and bean uh, planting pace is actually caught up to the five year average. And so that's kind of, uh, you know, weakening their argument a little bit out here and, and, and something that the bears can grab on to. Um, now, whether or not they're going to have a quality crop is obviously yet to be seen. But uh, that that, again, was a major um, talking point. So, you know, be sure to adjust your marketing plan. Be realistic about upside price targets in here. Again, we've done several videos on on using calls for re-ownership. It's a low risk um, scenario. But I got to tell you, you know, if you're sitting here thinking about making a cash sale and you don't want to buy calls, that should be enough of a cue to tell you that you really aren't confident that these markets are going to go higher anyways. And so that cash sale, uh, you should have more confidence in making that cash sale on some of these little rallies in here. Um, ultimately, though, you know, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to us. We do offer a free trial to our grain and livestock report. You can get that in the link below. Um, and uh, as always, guys, let's try and get a little bit better today. We appreciate you tuning in and we will talk to you on Friday.